Undead Mirror. He's warmed up with that. He just defeated Pink in Undead Mirror. But this time, he's going Lich. He obviously knows Labyrinth big love for the Lich. And playing Lich against uh, Crypt Lord is pretty damn good. Lots of targets for that Nova. High damage. And Labyrinth... Uh, Starbuck wants to beat Labyrinth at his own game. Well, we'll see if that works out. It was pretty close, actually, between Labyrinth and Happy on some of these maps. So, can Starbuck do it? Can he go all the way? He's the one who has to decide for the strategies. He knows what Labyrinth is playing, and he also knows that it's most of the time it's gonna be a Lich. And then Labyrinth can react. I wonder if it's a mistake to go scouting. A player's forces are under attack. Because you will reveal your race very, very early on. Uh, but the hero pick has been made and, and the unit choice has been done as well. So maybe it's not that bad. Thank you, Akash Jin, for the 2 1 3 sub. Lich is moving across. Expecting an expansion. And of course, as someone who mostly plays Lich, those expansions. He probably knows what the best counter to that is. Which gets lots of last hits, but here is Labyrinth. And he's pretty much disrupting the early game right away. No expo for Bucky. But also no expo for... Oops, sorry. Um, for Labyrinth. Battle for the Ogre Magi, who has the better trigger fingers. Level 2 online. Nova was used, but no more damage on the mage. Very tricky situation! Nova again, there's no TP. Both are surrounded. Uh-oh, Starbuck trying to escape! Oh my god! Run! Run, run, run! <laughs> that was quite important. That was life-saving right there. Getting threatened. Getting that surround done. No movement on Labyrinth Lich. Forcing the town portal. Getting the Magi. Plus item. Plus staying alive. <sighs> okay. This match already delivering. Ritual Dagger is there to heal up the Lich again. There is a tech and it's not that far. Wait, is it a head? A player's forces are under yeah! Starbuck is a head in tech. Plus he pulled the town portal. And Labyrinth has to catch up in the second base as well. We have a game, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else. Ring of Region, of course, great, but having access a to the boots early is attack. also pretty fantastic. Where to go now? Lich level three. Another steal. God damn, Bucky is styling here. So far, at least. It's really sad that we have to say goodbye to one of the players. In the round of 16 already. But all right, Town tier two done. Siege. But Labyrinth is very, very short on lumber. He can't even be going for a DK. For Starbuck, it's kind of the other way around. He's short on gold. 
Liverpool's coming. Watch awards positioned on two different sides. Saba getting ready for the defense. The DK won't be there. There's no staff though. Surround again. Oh boy, huge chance. Lightning shield trying to get him out of there. But he can't, another Nova. This was expensive. This hurt the ghouls and he lost some ghouls. But having the Lich benched when the DK is in the Alta in production, that is the best timing you can possibly get. Starbuck two one surround saved his life. The second surround gave him the lead. Snapshot decision making. Really well done. Now he has to make something with that advantage, with that time. Get the heroes out himself. Get the tech running, get the mass up. Advantage is not that crazy, to be honest. Supply is even. But yeah, the Lich of Labyrinth is benched for another 90 seconds. Second crypt. No second crypt for Labby. Also, tier three. What the? Tier three during the finish. Wait, during the tech. There's only one acolyte there. That seems like a mistake. That seems like a big mistake. 35 seconds. And another Nova right there. Keep the DK back. Is he leveling his own DK? Not really. Multitasking lacking a little. Denying even a skeleton. Why not? And again, the echo advantage. Give Starbuck the lead here. Gets map control, invo potion. That uh, was something he played against pink already. Lots and lots of invo potions. It's a lot about heroes. So Labby is trying to steal something, but Belt of Giant Strength is available, shop control is available, DK is finally creeping up to level 2, he gets a little bit of an edge here. And Labby is also supply blocked. The Necropolis is gonna finish, but until then he can only queue upgrades, like the Frenzy, like Destroyers. And Starbuck is a bit behind in that regard. But does he really need it at the moment? I don't think so. Web would be good. He does have Burrow. But is it time to fight yet? It's a race for the Dark Ranger. Starbuck doesn't really want to break. There we go. Has to now. Coil is up, but the ghouls are still connecting with Frenzy. Therefore, Burrow is really important. Second Burrow is another lifesaver. Plus, he gets level 2. Statue's in a good spot. Also, the Wand of Mana stealing being used. And Starbuck continues to style on Labyrinth a little bit. And this is something that will probably cause some waves over there in Asia. Fiends unburrowed. Some ghouls about to die, but the supply lead is massive. The echo lead was already big. And it's more than one level on the Lich. If nothing crazy happens this game, Starbuck takes it. But late game decision making is stressful, especially when you're a random player. Maybe you're not making the right decision at all times and that gives the pure undead player, if that's a thing, the lead again.
Maria Labyrinth was for the quote-unquote bookmakers probably a huge favorite for the second place. Not in this series so far. Having that level 2 Dark Ritual is so good. So good! And now what's left? What's left of the map? What's left to soak up? What to spend the gold on? Getting into upkeep. We also get web. And Labby is just... Second crypt only now. That is so, so late. A player's forces are under attack. Yeah, this game, um, I don't know. Levy felt deterred by that. Surrounded the very, very beginning and was wow. never able to come back from him, from, from that. What country is Starbuck from? Slovenia? Slovakia? Slovenia? I always mix up the two countries. A town is under siege. Slovenia, right? Yeah. This expo is done and so is Labyrinth. There's no chance. No chance. Labyrinth is down a base, is down 25 supply, is down on every single hero in levels. That's just a gnarly situation for the shooting star of the scene. Disengage! Thank you for the 17 month resub. And for the music you provide me with. Labyrinth is probably trying for a misposition of Starbuck. But that's not happening, man. That's just not happening. Game! Invo Potion triggered immediately and Starbuck flowing through the lower bracket. 3 and 0 oh now. After being defeated by Happy, he really, really found his rhythm. If I'm not mistaken, he started out as an undead and undead is also giving him quite some victories here. Well done. Dude, having the presence of mind to save his own lich while his expansion was harassed? Mwah. Having the presence of mind to see the harass coming from Labyrinth and get that lich kill at the perfect time? Things were just coming together, man. Things were just coming together. Doesn't get much better than that. And now he's one step away from the round of eight. Starbucks still on random. So while this Lich Mirror looked good, maybe a different matchup will provide a different outcome. But I can tell you guys, this was the Undead Mirror group. And... We're not getting much diversity. We stick with the Undead Mirrors. And you know what? I don't hate it. Labyrinth on the left hand side facing elimination after finishing second place in WSB just last week. Now getting eliminated in the round of 16 would be quite horrible. But it would be very, very good. For Starbuck, who's of course representing our region quite a bit. And is he once again going into Lichmere? And is Laren switching something up? On Echo Isles, you can Lich expand quite well. It is a Lich. It is a Crypt Lord. 
Okay. Knowing that Labyrinth will be going Lich, can you just flood the counter expansion with ghouls, beetles, without giving too much experience away? Lich can absolutely annihilate Cryptlord Ghouls at certain levels. But Starbuck, I mean, what's the plan? Labyrinth scouted this, probably satisfied with the outcome. So is it Expo Expo? He tried, it kind of looked like he tried to tower rush pink before. But no, this movement indicates an expansion, of course. Well, who's faster with that? Pure damage on Labby's side. Well, Starbuck is going for the mass. Why would Labyrinth go Lich if he doesn't know if he's an evil? Because he loves the Lich. Just like an Edo boy loves the Crypt Lord, Labby is in deep love with the Lich. Are under also, you can always expand with the Lich. Oh, always? Kind of always. It's a good pick. But can he hold? Everything is super hurt. There's a scout. Oh, what? Shadow Priest killed right away. So that's level two. That's more regen running. Everything is broken for Labyrinth. And there's a beetle run by into the base. This is, is this game about to be over? Ziggurat not canceled. Oh my god! This is a disaster! For Labyrinth, of course! Huge moves by Bucky. He's just trampling on Labyrinth. Basically the entire series. Here. Labyrinth can't even start attack because his acolytes are under threat. It's just overwhelming. Hmm. Half expecting a GG soon. Labyrinth is level 3. That's the big lead. But his economy is worse. His expo got cancelled, the ghoul was left behind, so the acolyte, yep, can't really do much here. And Starbuck has map control. Lemmy, still fighting. Lich can accelerate. As I said, there's a lot of targets that you can hit with your Nova. Ooh. Okay, Acolyte's still up, second try for the Expo, but Tech is already running, Expo is already up. And Starbuck makes the decision to level and leave the Lich alone, let Labby rebuild. I think that's the better choice than to brute force anything with no mana and only level 2. The one big consumable goes to him, Ghouls will be rotated out, Lich is already level 3, so... It's not much you give up, maybe the shop at the bottom. But crumbs with the five gifties! Much love, mate, and welcome. That was my best opera singer impression.
Just for you, but crumbs, just for you. A player's force is under attack. Labyrinth. <laughs> But crumbs with five more gifted subs. <laughs> Amazing man, thank you. Impale only hitting two. One gets denied. Yeah, this is a little tricky. But as the expo is running, this is just stalling. Next step. This he's filthy rich, Bucky is. We are seven minutes in the game, and we are still waiting for Labyrinth Tier 2 tech while Starbuck is on the way to tier freaking three. It's an entire tech, guys. That is level four. If not for like a wand of mana stealing impale combo, couldn't be go. I couldn't do it. Okay, hero arena. Kills the shadow priest. At least one of them. Shadow priest always good. Oh, five more gifted subs. Thank you. All right. Usually, with a tech lead like this, you're never gonna give this up. <gasps> a town Temple and slaughterhouse at the same time? A player's forces are under attack. He's not necro wagoning him. Is he? No. It would almost be humiliating. I think. Curse on a Lich goes a long way. Having access to anti-magic shield also goes a long way against this Nova. But there's little dispel in an undead with a late tech. Just saying. A player's forces are under attack. And Labyrinth is kinda slowly clawing back into this game with the one advantage that he has and that is Nova. Temple is done. We'll see the decision soon. Tam Tam! Thank you for the 10 euros! Please come in. The doctor will beat you now. <laughs> Hope you're well, mate. But yeah, it is Banshees. It would have been uh, quite a statement to go Necros here. Creeps are helping a little bit. Impale kills one of them, but nicely moving away with the Shadow Priest. Still, level 4 Crypt Lord is a necessity. Absolutely. Oh. Only now, tier 3. So late. Is Starbuck right to play this so defensively? This will be, this must be a big push before Labyrinth hits a solid tier. So the first Banshees are coming. Adept upgrade is done. Frenzy is done. Destros are done. And once you got weapon, a lich, and an orb, I think it's go time. Web. 
Still struggling a little with level 4 and a little bit with mana as well. But he has the better coil. Um, he has items. No heal scroll worries me a tiny bit, but he's also 25 supply ahead. That's a lot. That's like five destroyers. That's the whole control group of ghouls. But there's no TP. At least not on Starbuck. Oh, Impale will hit hard. Where's it going? There it is. What? Is that not the worst position possible? Oh my god. Instant TP away. <laughs> that was terrible. And so expensive. Yeah, why not position yourself here? That's level four. Time to regen some mana. Time to get the anti-magic up. And some herd units moving to the side with 8 HP and 10 HP. <laughs> Is it just me or is the new undead sign at Liquipedia looking like a uterus? Dude, I had the same thought two days ago. <laughs> it absolutely is. <laughs> we'll check it out in a bit. Shop destroyed. Starbuck flowing forward. There's towers here, but also the production. More upgrades. Almost 80 food. And more mana region. This is so key right now. Lich level 5, never to be underestimated, except if he's dead. And that is a solid possibility now. Invo potion. All right, there's two coils. All right. Hey! Lich just vanishes. Okay, you didn't gotta get that trait now, bro. With Impale, you have to double whammy. Frostborn hungers, eats the Lich. And that is a wonderful trait. I'm not an expert on Warcraft 3. I'm not here for analysis. But if I see two Liches have fallen, the one is level 5 and the other is level 1, I think that was a good trait. Liches get stitches. Exactly. Oh, that was so, so, so expensive. Not only the cost of getting that Lich back from the tavern, also the Fiend to fuel up the Lich again. It is problematic. If you're a Labyrinth fan, this wasn't a great day for you, unfortunately. If you're a Starbuck fan, there's reason to celebrate. Because this game is basically unlosable. Even with the undead base. Even with the towers up. There's still consumables. There's still statues. There's barely any losses. It's 3-1 upgrades and counting. There's anti-magic versus no anti-magic. It's a gigantic experience lead. And Labby is also losing the main very soon. And yeah, Kevin says it. What a stomp. And to be honest, both games. Like that wasn't really close. Impale hits well. Boom. Good night. Good fight it was. Thousand gold on Starbuck, dude. Such a beast. The 
it's just, this is just, she's just destroying me. I'm not egg. I don't even have to cast this anymore. He, he can't get the DK back at the moment because no resource, no altar. And without that, like, what's the solution? Level five on the Crippy. His might cannot be matched. Pink wasn't able to do it. Oh, 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 his might can be matched, actually. <laughs> this is a classic Remo Demo wait a minute moment, but we don't wait a minute. We don't wait a second. We have it confirmed. Starbuck in his Asia Tournament Circuit debut makes it into the round of eight. And oh man, that was a tough start into the day with the series versus Happy that was super one-sided and didn't really go Starbucks way. Then in the lower bracket, I'd also say that Concealed was wonky and chaotic. But then everything clicked. Everything clicked. And Starbuck is in the round of eight alongside the Happies, the Lins, the one two zeros of this world. Really, really, really cool. Really cool. A new flavor in this Asian tournament circuit. He hasn't played Ted Cups before in 14 editions. He hasn't played any TP leagues, really. But Bucky gets invited and he seizes the chance. Feels a little sad for Labyrinth. It always feels like whenever uh, he performs really well, like after W3 Champions or now at WSB, uh, afterwards he hits a little bottom. And as he's one of my favorite players, I can't help but be a little sad, but man, uh, I think smile on my face shows you how happy I am for the Buckman. Ooh, good point by Demon. Starbuck decided to lose to Happy because the first place of this group goes into the group of 1 to 0 and Lin. Jesus! That is a sick group. Of course, yeah. You're so right. Demon is oftentimes right. Gotta give him that. True, one to zero is a winner of a group. Lin is a winner of the group. That's nasty. So it's it will be. Uh, we can take a look at this already. So this is the groups. Oh my god! One to zero, happy and Lin in one group. Are you freaking kidding me? As Lin was only, quote-unquote, second place. So the runner-up of tomorrow will be in that group as well. You don't want to be the runner-up tomorrow. Absolutely not. Moonsock, Fortitude, Soin. Whoever is second place here, not a lot of time to celebrate. Uh, Starbuck up against Lawliot. As Lawliot won Group B. And the winner of tomorrow will go up against Focus. That's a tough matchup against Lorelight, of course, but not without chances, man. Not without chances. If you can beat Labyrinth, you can beat almost anybody. Ha <laughs> ha, this round of eights will be really, really good. Really good. And yeah, once again, once again, Shout out to Todd for lobbying Bucky into this tournament.